Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video, we are going to be making a world's smallest airsoft gun. The main component for this miniature airsoft gun build is this 2mm miniature revolver. This was given to me to do a review. I made a full video on it on my channel, so if you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. But essentially, this is a 2mm, being the caliber size of the gun, pin fire revolver. As you can see, there's a keychain, and on my hand, it's very tiny. Uh, so essentially, this here, I'll just set it down for a second, fires these very small shells. So these are like the blank pin fire shells. They're in plastic, so they're kind of hard to see. There they are there. And then what you do is you just load one of these small ball bearings inside of the shell, right in the end like that. And then you load her up into the gun. Uh, it's fully operational. I'll give you guys a quick demonstration, but if you want to see a full video, go check out my review on this gun. But anyway, you just unscrew the screw in the end. Then the gun folds in half. You add your shells into the little um, clip right here, or whatever it's called on a revolver, and then you're good to go. So in today's video, we're going to be making this into an airsoft gun using a pen barrel, some small electrical connector, but anything will do really, uh, thumbtack, some airsoft BBs, hot glue gun, electrical tape, and a knife. So before we make this into an airsoft gun, I'm going to go ahead and load it up while it's still easy to do so. So it's going to take out the clip, and then all you do is you just take your little shells. So these have no ball in them, so they're essentially a blank. And then it's kind of hard to show on camera just because of just how small it is. But all I'm doing is just pushing it in, lining up the pin as it is a pin fire cartridge and put it in just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and load up three of them so we can do three test shots. There's the three shells loaded up there and then putting it back in the gun, just put her on the uh, gun like that and then line up some holes and put her back together. Now once we twist this down, we're ready to shoot. So even though we are loaded up with just blanks, I'm still going to be very careful not to put my fingers in front, in front of the barrel or get too close to the trigger just because the force that comes out of one is quite strong. Obviously the barrel is hollow, so what we're going to be doing in today's video is modifying the barrel to be quite a bit bigger to fit an airsoft BB. So the first step we're going to do is take this little electrical pin that I found. Um, really doesn't matter what it is but basically it's something that fits inside the barrel nice and snug and then basically starts to make the barrel a larger size just put a bit of hot glue on the little end of this thing so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the barrel twist it around so there we go the barrel is already a little bigger now for the final barrel, what we're going to be using is a pen tube, which you obviously have probably seen in any of my recent videos, as it very nicely fits an airsoft BB. So since I am making the smallest airsoft gun in the world, I'm going to make a really short barrel, probably about an inch long. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto blade here and cut my pen tube to about an inch long, just like that. And then what we're going to do is use some hot glue and potentially some electrical tape to seal it just around the red piece like that. So there is essentially the finished conversion. As you can see, I got the pen tube glued on the end of the barrel. Now the last issue is that even though you can easily load the BB into the end of the barrel, uh, if you tip it over, it just easily rolls out. So to prevent that from happening, what we're going to be doing here is using this little thumbtack and just about halfway down the barrel I'm going to add just a few little pokes like that which if you can see on the inside of the barrel adds a little divot which prevents the airsoft BB from rolling back out. One might have been enough, I'm not 100% sure. 
Nope, I'm going to go ahead and add a few more. So there you go, I added one more on this side and one more on the other side. And we've got our BB in there and it does not fall out. You don't want to add too much however, or else it'll greatly decrease the speed of the BB coming out the barrel. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to some shooting tests. Alright everyone, here we go with the shooting test. I've got a piece of paper down there. We've got it loaded up with a BB. Hopefully those protrusions we add in the barrel doesn't slow it down too much. And then if this works well, we'll move on to a more difficult target. Here we go, firing in 3, 2, 1. Works very nicely. Let's see what else it can do. Actually, first let's check out the shooting test, the damage. As you can see, we put a good sized dent in the paper there. Um, but obviously it just bounced off since there was nothing holding the paper. Maybe let's try something a little heavier. Next up, I've got this little pasta box with a clear window right here. That's going to be my target. Uh, I have no idea how accurate this thing is, so I'm going up pretty close. And I don't even know if I'm going to hit it still, as the barrel is literally a centimeter long where the airsoft BB is. But anyway, let's try our best. Firing in three, two, one. I think I missed it, but the box did move. I can't really see where I hit it. It didn't cause much damage. Now we've got one more shell loaded up, so let's go ahead and do shotgun style. So for the last test shot, I've got two BBs loaded in here for the shotgun style. That's all I could fit. So let's go ahead and see if we can hit that folded sheet of paper. I'm a little further away now, so let's see what happens. Firing in three, two, one. Oh wow, so that was interesting. Anyway, the first BB just fell right out of the barrel since um, I put the protrusions far enough back for just one BB but the next BB actually was ripping obviously the cartridges are loaded with different amounts of uh, powder because the first BB hit a paper and didn't even go through it and this one went through it clean hole without even knocking the paper over ricocheted off my drywall I can actually see where it hit my drywall right there and then ricocheted all over there to where my printer is. So, congratulations little buddy. I think you're actually pretty powerful. Anyway, so there is the airsoft gun. Hopefully you guys stuck around to the very last test shoot to see that it actually is kind of powerful considering it's probably about uh, two and a half, three inches long total. Probably two inches maybe. Anyway, so thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys liked this little modification I did. Um, stick around for next week's video where I'm going to be reviewing a 12 gauge alarm system that was provided to me by a awesome company. So thanks for watching. As always please like, comment and subscribe.